briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1959 Supreme Court case, Securities and Exchange Commission v.s. Variable Annuity Life Insurance, the justices faced a critical decision regarding the regulation of variable annuities and whether they were considered insurance products exempt from federal securities laws. The lawsuit was brought forth by the Securities and Exchange Commission against the respondents, who were offering annuity contracts without registering them under federal law. The respondents claimed they were exempt from these regulations due to their compliance with state insurance laws. The key question in the case was whether the variable annuities were indeed insurance products and therefore exempt under the McCarran-Ferguson Act. To determine this, the Supreme Court examined the differences between traditional fixed annuities and variable annuities, as well as the exemptions provided by the Securities Act, the Investment Company Act, and Section 2, B, of the McCarran-Ferguson Act. In their examination, the court found that variable annuities placed all the investment risks on the annuitant rather than the company and offered benefit payments that varied with the success of the investment policy. This was in contrast to traditional fixed annuities with guaranteed benefit payments. As a result, variable annuities were determined not to be insurance devices since they lacked an essential element of insurance, the underwriting of risks. Based on their findings, the Supreme Court held that variable annuities did not qualify as exempt insurance contracts and therefore were subject to federal securities laws. This ruling reversed the decision of the district court and affirmed that the respondents needed to comply with these laws when offering variable annuities. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.